What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Surgeon. And we have another drawstring video. This time it's the drawstring on my Craftsman Yard Vac. So stay tuned. Yes, sir. Alright people, as you can see there is one important factor missing with this picture and that is the drawstring. Um, uh, just making this video, I've done this a few times or quite a few times. <laughs> Being in business, in lawn care, you're going to break a few drawstrings, especially with old machines. And it's a simple fix, just knowing how to do it. But you are going to need a couple of tools and you'll see the tools that you're going to need. Um, first thing I did, uh, if you see right here and right here, I removed the cover. Um, two Phillips head screws for the cover. That takes me off and gets me to this housing. Next thing I have to do is remove this. This is the drawstring cage thing. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to see these rivets here. It's four rivets holding this on. Um, you're going to have to drill them out. That's the easiest way to get it. So you're going the best way to do is measure a bit that fits perfectly in this hole and that's usually the bit you need. So we're going to check this out. I have my bits here. See what this one looks like. Uh, good enough. Good enough. So, let's drill it out. One. Alright, as you see I got all those drilled out. And um, then this should come right off like this. Like, you know, a little dirty because it is a yard vac. So. so, now time to recoil this bad boy just like with the other one that's the hole that this little uh, piece of string came out of so you're gonna want to uh, um, take that out so now just like the other one you want when you wind it up it coils the cool thing about this one that makes it way easier is that when you wind this one up you can actually stick something in there now this is the hole right here that you're trying to line up. So you want to get nice and wound up. And once you do that, you stick something in there like that. So now you just feed the string in and um, pull it through the hole, tie a knot, and it stays in place. All right, so a little trick, um, put it, tape it to a little trimmer wire. That'll help you feed it through easier so you're not messing with it all day. Hopefully this doesn't come off. And it goes right through. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, almost. Come on. I think I got the thing through. It's just the tape. Just holding it up. I got a little needle nose here. There we go. You got it through. Yes, sir. All right. So once you got it uh, fed through, like so, there's my knot. And you go ahead and um, pull out. I'm gonna hold the cord because I'm um, feed it. But you release it like this. Take that, and now as you let it go, it rolls that cord right back on up. Bada bing, bada boom. Just like so. Alright, so these are the rivets, medium rivets. Don't get me to explaining all of this stuff. I don't know how to explain it, but um, for a long time I used to get ones that was too long. And if you get it and it's too long, then this piece will get caught in a flywheel. So let me show you how I put them on. Alright, so it's real simple. If you, uh, understand how to do it so this is your rivet gun oh this is your rivet gun 
you take the long end of the rivet and you stick it in there so the short end is sticking out. You get the short end in there into the hole. Make sure it's nice and straight and in there and then you're going to squeeze the rivet. Go ahead, squeeze it. Squeeze it and about on the third time it should break off. Bam! Twist it and it's in there. And you just do that three more times and a little rivet piece will come out like that. Do it three more times, good to go. Alright, so we got this back into place. Let's give it a pull, make sure everything is functioning properly, like it's supposed to be. It seems like it is. So, I'm gonna, before I put the cap on, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little, little test start, see if it starts up. All right, Let's see what it do. Well, as always, I found, fixed one problem, found out another. Don't know why it's running like that, but if you came to this video wanting to know how to change the drawstring, voila. <laughs> now I gotta figure out why it's running funny. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Yes, sir.